programming, USB-C charging, GMRS, and ham radio in one radio. Introducing the TID Radio TDH8 10 watt handheld transceiver, this time on KMRD Radio Stuff. So in the pack that they sent me, we get the radio itself. Comes with a 2500 milliamp hour battery. And then it comes with another 2500 milliamp hour battery. Comes with the charger and your uh, USB whatever to USB-C. So you can charge it up there. Comes with a nice speaker mic that rotates, that's good. That's a nice thing to have there. We get this lovely lanyard that you can uh, wear the radio around your neck if you choose to. We get a belt clip with a wrench and some screws and I, there's some labels in here for something, I don't know. Uh, I have no idea why, maybe battery one, battery two, no clue, but there's some labels in there. We get our stock antenna and then we also get an extended antenna. This is the TID Radio TD771. So a rebranding of the Nagoya 771, I would assume. Uh, and we also get this handsome wrist strap here and a manual that is fairly good at explaining what uh, everything does in here. And we also get a TID Radio support card. Walking around the radio on the top, we have our on, off, and volume. We also have a uh, LED light, not the brightest thing in the world. We've got a little red programmable button and our antenna port that's SNA mail. On the left side, we have our PTT, and then we have two programmable secondary buttons. On the front, we've got a numeric keypad and VFO memory, Bluetooth, and VFO AB. And on the right, we have our uh, port for our headphone jack, like such. And maybe programming. Uh, I didn't get a programming cable with this, but uh, we'll touch on why I didn't get a programming cable with this in a second. And then on the back here, we can see the model number. There's the FCC ID and all that. And the battery affixes in such a way. And you kind of press it in and then that locks it down. Here is our USB-C charging port, and you have an LED that is red when it's charging and green when it is finished charging. And I just discovered what these labels were for. If you wanted to, there's a little uh, indent right there that looks like it fits those labels perfectly. So you can, I guess, maybe put your call sign on there or something. So right off the bat, my very first impressions with this radio are that it is very, very rugged. I mean, you're not gonna you're not gonna break this thing. It's got a nice metal uh, back plate here. Uh, another feature is it also has, if you just push this side button here, actually has FM radio too. So if you're uh, wandering in the desert and you want to listen to some radio, well, there you go. But quite possibly the coolest feature of this radio is if the, you want this to be a ham radio, it'll be a ham radio. If you want this to be a GMRS radio, it'll be a GMRS radio. If you want this to be both, it will do that. And uh, they wanted me to show you at TID Radio. We'll leave aside the legality of this, but let's say I want to turn this into a ham radio. I'm going to hold the PTT and the scan button down while I turn it on. And notice it says in it all for ham. I'm going to hit menu. And it is going to turn on as a ham radio. If we want it to be a GMRS radio, we're going to turn it off, hold down the PTT and the zero button, turn it back on, and it all GMRS. And then we hit the menu button. Welcome. Now, mode. it's GMRS radio. But wait, there's more. If we want it to be both, we hold the PTT and the pound sign down, turn it on, and it says initialize all, hit the menu. And now it is basically just wide open. So the benefit to having all of those different modes is that you can use their app called OD Master, which you can download on the Apple Store or in the Google Play Store. 